Chad Brendel here with head coach Luke Fickle. Coach, uh, third day in a row, different look on the offensive line. Is that getting as much as you can on tape and, and seeing where everybody might fit into that puzzle? Got to kind of, that was one of our big objectives in the spring is you know, we had 10 objectives as a, as a coaching staff and one of them was find the best five guys and get them in the right spots and order, uh, let them work together. So we kind of keep shuffling around and hopefully by the end of spring we'll know what those five guys are and where they are and, and uh, give us a chance to gel together. Any of those guys standing out so far? Today's the first day. It's kind of hard to, you know, the, yeah, the O-line no guys, pads, you know, hard. it's with no pads, it's been really difficult. But, you know, I love the leadership. I love I love Garrett Campbell. I love Kyle Trout, just the, the leadership mentality that they've got. But, uh, you know, the, the, the energy, the hustle, you know, there's some guys who are starting to stand out. And uh, kind of got to go back to that film and see which guys are really finishing and doing the little things. But uh, I like the makings where we're headed. One of the two guys at center is a, is a redshirt freshman. As a coach, does that... You make you yeah. toss and turn a yeah. little bit, and in that's why it's, it's so important for us to figure out who those uh, who those five are. But if you can kind of side by side with some with some seniors, you know, I think it, it, it can work. And uh, he's one of those guys that's kind of stood out a little bit. I'm not saying always about the play, but just about the effort, the attitude, his ability to hustle out there, his ability to kind of take it all in and, and not bat an eye at it. Um, quarterback, I, you know, you've got three veterans and and Sopko, Trail, and Moore that you've seen a lot of. The two young guys, Ritter and, and Bryant, what are you seeing from them through the first week and then that makes you kind of raise your eyebrows? I think today was a good time, just the, the, the calmness that they that they have that are a little bit beyond their years, I think. You know, now they're not live and that's a little bit more difficult, but I think that we really, throughout this spring, you're going to see us kind of put a little bit more of an emphasis on, hey, we got to give those guys a lot of reps. You know, obviously not, not saying we're not giving the older guys reps, but you know, they've had a lot of opportunities and, you know, Ben obviously came in early for a reason so that he had an opportunity to get a lot of reps. And, you know, we've got to make sure that we can give those guys an opportunity. Uh, they're not just thrown in there for three plays and out. So we do some younger guy type of situations, but even on later in the spring, you know, there's going to be some times we just say, hey, we're going to really kind of focus, let these guys, you know, get their feet wet. So you give uh, Christian Angulo a chance with the first team today. Is that kind of a reward for having a good couple days, or how do you oh, handle everything that? together. I think that the idea that, uh, that there, nobody in that room is really anything set. You know, obviously you got some ideas of, of guys that might be might be out there first, but the reality is we got to create competition. We got to give guys an opportunity. And if we're going to play the way we want to play, you're going to have to have four of them. You know, they're, they're going to run an awful lot. So putting guys in those situations to be challenged because you know when they're going against different guys it's not it's really kind of hard to evaluate based on hey well he only goes against these guys uh, so it's kind of hard to mix and match that that uh, evaluation so we're going to make sure we do everything the right way so also a, a challenge maybe to the guy that he stepped in for to see how he responds yeah yeah i mean because you got to be able to handle it and i think that's what we're talking about about building football players and building a football team and that's a lot more than just how you play on the field it's how you handle the guys around you how you handle some ups and downs how you handle going from first team to second team you know and and what kind of mentality do you have and then how do you you know is there a competition in there and a healthy competition is what we're looking for talked to Mike Warren before you uh, you came over. Can you talk about his development in that second season? Things maybe slowing down for him and, and being a guy you can lean on now? Yeah, and I think by the end of the year last year, I think he was a guy we were leaning on a lot. And, and uh, I think that we're going to have some maturity there, you know, with, with two young guys, but still mature beyond, you know, a little beyond their years, not just on the football field, but in everything that they do and handling themselves. So um, there'll be a lot placed on those guys' shoulders. And I think that's probably one of those groups and we're most excited about. It's a little hard in spring because, you know, Jared Dokes is out and Taylor Boos is out. Uh, so that's going to throw a lot, of, a lot of weight onto Mike Warren's shoulders. And I think it's great for him, not just to carry the ball, but to kind of be that leader to show Charles and some of those guys this is the way we do things. And not just how we carry the ball, but how we block, how we handle ourselves in, in all different situations. As a coach, it's got to make you feel good in that running, running back room, having two sophomores, like you said, that are – a little bit wise beyond their years, but but both have shown on the field that their talent level is immense. Yeah, I think that's the whole idea of where the future is headed and what we got to continue to do. And you know, obviously, bringing Charles is going to be a freshman. We got another running back that'll be coming in here in the fall. Um, so just give us an opportunity because I don't care what team you go to. If, if you're going to have a really good football team and a good football program, there's going to be a lot of depth at the tailback position because those are by nature some of the best players on the team. And you know, you're not saying that you're going to move them, but keep recruiting tailbacks, and, and I'm sure they'll find places to play. Charles, just real quick, um, a, a different guy than the other guys that you've got in that room. It gives you maybe a little bit more uh, speed, a little bit more uh, quick feet on the outside. I think that's one of those things that is so intriguing to us about Charles. Is he's a lot different than what Michael is and, and, what, and what Dokes are. 
You know, he's, he's a completely different kind of back. Now, he'll get bigger and he'll get stronger, but he is a little bit more of that slasher. He is a little bit more of that elusive type of guy uh, with, with some different speed and some different skill sets. And uh, I think our ability to be able to use that and manage it is going to be what's going to be so important for us offensively as we develop. Finally, on the outside at wide receiver, have you seen anything through this first week that, that, that's making you feel good? I, I've noticed that Trent Cloud seems like he's had a good couple days. Gaddis has had a good couple days. I think both the young kids, you know, not, not just Haas. Trent, but Haas as, as well. But, you know, I, I really do believe that, you know, that uh, Khalil has kind of been one of those guys in the first three practices. I know that's not always pads and sometimes with different situations, but a guy that has stood out, you know, in the way he's, not just the way he's caught the football and down the field, but the way he's handled himself in some other situations that he's kind of doing it our way, and that excites me. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right.